In this video, I'm showing you how to use dummy variables to model independent variables that are categorical in nature. In this example, we are comparing nurses' salary for male nurses and female nurses. We are wondering if their gender has anything to do with their salaries. Now, gender is a categorical variable, which means it can either be female or male. It has two possibilities, but I can't enter that into regression analysis. Regression analysis requires numerical values, which means we have to code the gender of the nurse as a zero one to make it either a male nurse or a female nurse. We're gonna do exactly that. So this is my uncoded data. It shows the male nurse salaries in this column, their months of experience, and then for females, and then for their months of experience. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna create another tab called coded data. And here I'm just gonna say salary, months of experience, and their gender. And then go back to my uncoded data pick the male salaries along with their months of experience. Control shift down, pick all of it, copy this, so control C, go back to my coded data, place my cursor in the first cell, control V, expand the column to include everything. So then these are the salaries of our, of our male nurses. So if I just control shift down, you would see that it goes down to 121. That represents the 120 male nurses that were in our data set. So now what I want to do is that I want to get the female nurses and bring them here. But before I do that, to make my life easier, I'm going to mention here that these are the male nurses and I'm going to code them as one. And I'm just going to put my cursor back on here, get the crosshair and double click and all 120 will be now coded as one, which means they are male. And I will now grab the female numbers and bring them and just simply paste them here. So I'm going to go back to my uncoded data, scroll back up, pick the salaries and the months of experience, control shift down. I picked all of them, control C, coded data, place my cursor here and just say control V. So the female nurses also have their values transferred here. Now I'm going to put the value of zero here because these are female nurses. And as soon as I enter the very first female as a zero, I can put my crosshair and double click and now everything is coded. So if you want to double check, you can just go up here, control shift down, and you will see that everything has a coding. So now you're ready to do your data analysis because everything is numerical, whether they're categorical or not. So go to data, data analysis, pick regression. At this point, we're not doing anything different than any other time. We will put the Y values here. So these are salaries. It picks all, all of it. Then go up, pick both months of experience and gender. I wanna make sure that I pick my labels. Pick all of it and say labels. And I'm gonna put it in a new sheet. Okay, so first of all, how's our regression model? Our regression model is very good. Almost 94% of the variations we see in the salary is due to the variables that we have identified. Are they both very good? Well, let's see if they're both significant by looking at their p-values. And indeed, they are extremely small. So both gender and experience has turned out to be significant relationship with the salary. So what do we have here as a regression equation? Our regression equation is your salary is a coefficient of intercept is 60,978.806. So that's coming from here. Then months of experience right here is 82.183 times x1 plus the last one, which is gender in this right here, is 4,845.37 almost, X2. X1 represents months of experience. So for every month of experience, the salary goes up by $82. This is what it's showing here. What is X2? X2 is gender. And for female, X2 is zero. So if you're looking at a female nurse, the last term is going to be eliminated from our equation altogether. But if X2 is equal to one and it's a male, then the last term gets multiplied by one. Essentially, what you're saying is that whatever the female nurse's salary is, males will get an additional $4,845 extra due to their gender. And this is what they will get. So what does the intercept mean? So remember, intercept is when X1 is equal to zero and X2 is equal to zero. So X1 is zero when somebody is a brand new nurse with no experience, and X2 is zero when they're a female nurse. So basically, the value that you see here is the starting salary of a female nurse. So this is the point of intercept. Intercept is when all the variables are set to equal to zero. And when the variable of months of experience is zero is a fresh brand new nurse, and it's a female nurse. So now you can start 
predicting with this model because it's a good enough model that you can do prediction. To use this for prediction, we need to focus on the last table and the coefficient. So let's scroll down and pay attention to our coefficients. So now let's use this model to predict the salary for a female that has 20 months of experience and a male nurse that has 20 months of experience. For a female nurse, the number is going to be the coefficient plus the months of experience coefficient multiplied by 20. And I didn't do the last variable because it will be multiplied by zero, by the way. For the male, I'm gonna take the coefficient, add to it the coefficient for months of experience multiplied by 20 plus the last coefficient. And it's redundant, but I'm gonna write multiplied by one. And these are the differences between the two. And of course, if I took the differences of these two, I would get exactly what I was supposed to get, the difference gender makes in the salary. These two values are exactly the same. That's the gender difference. What would have happened if I had coded it the other way? And I have shown you that in my PowerPoints, the only thing that would change is that intercept will change. Intercept will then represent the starting salary for a male nurse, and then the gender coefficient will become a negative value. Try that on your own and see how it will change.